a tool that lets you add effects in seconds, a setting that instantly makes your renders three times faster. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys 16 tips that will help you edit faster and instantly improve your editing skills. So let's start off with tip number one that's gonna help you guys render faster. To start off, all you wanna do is go up to preferences, go to memory and performance, and you'll see right here a multi-frame rendering. All you wanna do is check this box. Now, After Effects will use multiple CPU cores instead of one, making your previews and renders become two to three times faster instantly. Tip number two, if you've ever rotoscoped something and seen this little green banner that slows down your preview every time, the best way to fix it is after you're done rotoscoping, go down to the bottom and you'll see a freeze frame button. Click on this and this will pre-render your rotoscopes and you'll have smooth playback every single time. Tip number three, save everything as a preset. The last thing you wanna do is create a really cool effect, forget to save it as a preset and then have to recreate it in the next project. Get in the habit of holding down shift clicking on all the effects on that adjustment layer and go up to animation and click on save animation preset. And once you've saved that preset now on your next project, all you have to do is just drag it on, saving you hours of having to rebuild the same effect. Tip number four, if you've ever wanted to change the colors inside of After Effects just like this, the first step is all you wanna do is click Control F12 or on Mac, click Command F12. This will bring up the console panel and all you wanna do is just right click and make sure that debug database view is selected. Next, inside of the search bar, you wanna type in enable underscore theme underscore colorizing. Now, all you wanna do is click on the checkbox to change it to true. Or if you don't see the checkbox, all you wanna do is just click on it, delete the false, and and then type in true. Now just close out the console, go to edit, preferences, and then appearances. Inside here, click on the highlight color and change this to your favorite color. And once you're done, After Effects will have a fresh new look. Tip number five. If you've ever got this yellow error banner of a frame mismatch when you're rotoscoping or doing a 3D camera track, all you wanna do to fix this is just right click, add in a new null object. Now just highlight the footage and the null, right click, pre-compose, move all attributes and click OK. Now you can add a 3D camera tracker or rotoscope this with no problems. And this also works if you're trying to 3D camera track a layer with a time remap on it. Tip number six. If you've ever wanna render something with a transparent background, all you wanna do is just go up to file, export and then chuck that into the render queue. Now just open up the export settings and change this to QuickTime. Now to the right inside of format options, you wanna change this to Apple ProRes 444. Four. Four, four. Four, 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 four. And finally, in the channels, change this to RGB plus alpha. Now, just simply render it out and you got yourself a transparent video. Tip number seven. Now, this tip has probably helped me the most in building my editing skills, and that is going to be Skillshare. Personally, I've been really trying to level up my Premiere Pro skills, and Skillshare had the perfect masterclass by Jordy. It was super easy to follow, and I was honestly surprised on how much I actually learned. From advanced keyboard shortcuts I had no idea about, to keyframing and time remapping for smoother animations. And that's honestly what I love about Skillshare is their classes are taught by world-class creatives, illustrators, designers, and entrepreneurs. So you're learning by making something hands-on. And of course, you can learn at your own pace with thousands of creative classes across editing, After Effects, Blender, productivity, and so much more. So if you want to try it, the first 500 people to use my link in the description or just scan this QR code right here will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. So get started today. Tip number eight. If you've ever wanted to replace an asset or video in your scene, all you have to do is select on the layer you want to replace, click on the new footage. Now just hold down Alt and drag that on top of it. The new footage will keep all the mass animations, effects, and a timing of the old layer. Super big time saver for graphic heavy edits. Tip number nine. Speaking of graphically intense edits, if you ever find yourself cooking inside of After Effects and you go to try to render it out and it is taking years to render, a good method to try is to render it out in chunks. Usually the first render, I solo all the bottom layers that include any pre-comps and backgrounds and leave any adjustment layers with all the sauce for the second render. And then once I render it out, I set it back into my timeline and then render it out with all the adjustment layers. Typically, if there's a lot going on all at once, After Effects will freak out. So this method is a good workflow if renders are taking forever or have render glitches. Tip number 10. If you ever find yourself with a logo or graphic that looks pixelated when you start scaling it, all you want to do is go over inside your timeline and click on this little star icon called continuous rasterize. Now the graphic becomes perfectly sharp at any size. Tip number 11. If you find yourself working with pre-comps a lot, this one is for you. Essentially what you want to do is open up the main composition and then go up to the top right here and click on this little 
lock icon. This will obviously lock it. And now what we can do is double click on our pre-composition. Now click on that window, hold down and drag it to the right of the preview panel. Now what you will see is on the left, you'll see your main composition and on the right is your pre-composition. Now you can make changes inside of your pre-composition and on the left, you'll see real-time updates on your main composition. Tip number 12. For this one, all you wanna do is down here, you just wanna click on this checkerboard transparency icon. Now you'll be able to see what areas are transparent. Tip number 13. If you've ever created an animation and you want it to loop out the whole entire timeline, all you wanna do is just all click the stopwatch and this will open up the expression panel and all we wanna type in is loop out open bracket parentheses cycle parentheses close bracket and you got yourself an animation that will loop for the entire timeline tip number 14 stop manually searching for effects and dragging them in and just download the free fx console by video copilot once you've downloaded it and set a shortcut all you have to do is hit that shortcut type in the effect name you want and press enter you'll now be able to add effects in literally two seconds one of the biggest time savers i've ever learned tip number 15 all right listen we all know that premiere pro and after effects crashes from time to time and we usually lose a lot of our work, right? So for this one, all I want you to do is go up to preferences, auto save and set this auto save to 20 minutes. This will obviously save your work every 20 minutes and now you won't lose a bunch of your work every time it crashes. You can thank me later. Tip number 16. All you have to do is just like this video and subscribe because if you do that, that will help me make more videos to help you. I don't know about you guys, but I see that as a win-win. So that pretty much brings us to the end of the video and I think I will see you guys in the next video. Ooh.